What's up guys, Spartan here, back at again with another video. And guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing the Mega Deck Challenge with this deck right here. You guys can pause the video and look at it if you guys want. Um, so it's a really fun challenge. Um, instead of 8 cards in a normal deck, you're going to have 18 cards. And so basically, I picked a bunch of cards that are like, do splash like Wizard and Witch and Valk. And, um, I picked another lot of cards that do a lot of damage, like Mini P.E.K.K.A., Lumberjack, Prince. And, you know, it just consists of a bunch of Swarm, guys that do a lot of damage, uh, like Wind Conditions, Ram Rider, stuff like that. Um, and Splash Damage and Support. So, you guys should have some fairly good amount of Wind Conditions. Um, I have, I think three or four yeah i have three i have ram rider i have and skeleton barrel and goblin barrel and guys just have swarm you know maybe one spawner and for spells you should have like you know two medium damage spells and one um small spell so yeah guys without further ado we're gonna jump into a game right now i'm currently sitting at six wins and all we need is three more for the challenge victory. Alright guys, so we're playing Selter here. We're going to give him a good luck. And if I didn't tell you guys, the whole thing's in two times elixir. And I think it turns three times in overtime, but I'm not 100% sure. So he's going to go wizard uh, knight. I'm going to go wizard. And probably follow up with a battle healer. No, so I'm going to go poison here. And yeah, I'm going to go with a battle healer. And guys, whenever you get a Goblin Barrel or a Skeleton Barrel in Cycle, especially with this deck, I encourage you to use it because this is a mega deck. So, um, it's, if they have like a small spell like a Log or something, like what are the chances it's going to be in Cycle, you know? So, yeah guys, that's just something that you should know. And same thing goes with Skeleton Barrel. Skeleton Barrel could probably be countered easier, but... um. You know, it's got to just send out your cards, like, your barrels, you know? Because they're going to do good if the guy doesn't have his um, small spell in rotation. See, like, look how much damage that did. That took his tower. I'm going to go Ram Rider in the back. And we're going to follow up with a Prince. Uh, yeah, guys, so it looks like they're going to take my tower, too. And, yeah, we got the tower first, and we got 301 left on ours. We're just going to full send it, guys. Uh, yikes. So, he's going to have Inferno Tower. We're going to go with a Heal Spear, and we got a pretty decent push, guys. We could honestly just win the game right now. Uh, that was a pretty bad poison. I should have put it higher for the bats. But we did a really good amount of damage left on his tower. So it's looking good for us right now. That hog's going to get a couple hits. But that's fine. Yeah, so that bowler's done. And, you know, guys, doing challenges like this, I learned to appreciate cards that I haven't really used before. Like Wizard or something. You know, cards like Wizard... I just learned to appreciate them more. And Prince. So we're just going to let that Valk eat our tower. And, ooh, this is not looking good for us, guys. They, good. He pre That was a well-played prediction arrows by him. But, you know, we just delayed till they're done. And if you guys, if you guys see that the opponent likes to do predictions... Like prediction arrows, prediction whatever small spell he has. Wait till he predicts and then go with the spell after. Or the, sorry, your swarm card after. Alright guys, so just like that, we held up the game. 939 left on our tower. And yeah, so that was a good job, Selter. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go into the next game right now. And speaking of mega loot... I don't really think the loot's that good, but, um, yeah, sorry, Supercell. And guys, um, if you haven't heard already, there's a secret mode, Rascal Girl Brawl, and it's actually going, 
you know, Supercell's are revealing that they actually made one. And an emote comes at the end of a bandit. So I'm going to be showing you how to get that when the challenge comes out. That'll probably come out the first day um, Rascal Girl Brawl comes out. Because there's nothing else I have to do during quarantine, right? So anyway, we're going to jump to another game here. And yeah. Okay, we're going to get Nat X Sierra from Chill Pill. We're going to give him my emote. And we're going to go the witch in the back. And he's going to follow that with an ice wizard. All right. So I'm just going to go witch Valkyrie. Mm, yeah, so I'm going to switch it up in the other lane. And, you know, see what we can do. So, yeah. We're going to get some pretty good damage. And hopefully our wizard can defend his push. Yeah. So, guys, we came out with a fair, or not a fair trade. Nothing's fair. Like a good trade. Um, that prince is going to sadly kill our wizard. But we're going to get a prince on that giant, and I don't think it'll get any hits. And look at this, guys. He's running a magic archer. You know, um, I haven't seen too many of those guys since the nerf. But I guess he didn't get the news. We're in a skeleton army here. And go with a goblin barrel. He probably doesn't have a... Okay, so he does. But that's alright because now we have a skeleton barrel. Yeah, so we're going to make his life pretty miserable. Alright, and he has e -wiz. But guys, you should always just keep... Like whenever you have a goblin barrel, maybe you're sitting at 10 elixir. Maybe you'll do like a lumberjack and then goblin barrel. Because if you have... Especially if you have the lumberjack taking... Tanking, sorry. Maybe he doesn't have a small spell in rotation, and you can get a sane amount of damage. I'm actually going to just... Okay, I'm going to fireball up top. And I'm going to get a um, Lumberjack for some DPS. Mini Pekka for some DPS. And just a Heal Spirit. We're going to go with Bats. We're going to go Ram Rider and Wizard. Um, That looks like it'll take his tower. Yeah, so he knows that. So we're actually going to go ahead and go with a Prince here. And we're going to go with a Goblin Barrel. Also, and a Skeleton Barrel. So... He's not going to choose to log it. He's just going to... Oh. Yeah, so he's... Like I said, he's not going to choose to log that. And we're going to try to get a battle healer. And, you know, just delay everything before 10 seconds. And with that prediction log, we feel comfortable to go with... Um, a Skarmy and then a Goblin Barrel. I'm sorry, Goblin Gang. And just like that, we held up with the last 10 seconds. Nate, if there was more time, you'd probably win that. And good game to you. Um, so, yeah, guys. Just like that, we're one win away from winning this challenge without a loss, guys. And, you know, this challenge is fairly fun. Um, I'm happy Supercell put this challenge in the game. And yeah, guys, just make sure to put a lot of win conditions, a couple spells, not too many. And, you know, just cards that do air defense, but do splash, like a wizard and a witch. And, guys, normally I wouldn't be running Goblin Hut, maybe Furnace. But since Goblin Hut just got a buff, you know, I think it's super strong. Now how it spawns some more... Um, goblins and you guys pr already probably heard of that so like i said guys we're gonna have something tank for the goblin barrel which is the lumberjack in my example and see this guy doesn't have a small spell in rotation and that's a perfect example of how much damage you could do all right this is not looking good for us but actually ram rider did a lot of damage I'm uh, sorry, not a it did some damage and some value on um this guy's push. So our witch activated king. And to be honest with you, 
I didn't think the game was going to look too good once he went with that huge counter push. But, guys, you know, somehow, some way, we defended that. And I think that was crazy. We're going to get a Valk up top. And, yeah, just in time. Mm, yeah, guys, so you don't need to be the most skilled player. Like, I'm not the most skilled player. And you can see I'm doing pretty well in this challenge here. I'm going to go heal spirit and um he's gonna mirror that so that's gonna give us a huge green light yeah it's gonna give us like the greenest light there is just to go on with the skeleton barrel and while he defended that pretty good we're gonna go with a goblin barrel and what's he gonna do yeah so he's gonna have to witch telling you guys goblin barrel skeleton barrel stuff that are effective unless they have a spell on top of them um you should have a lot of those in your deck but not too much not sorry not too many um all right i barely missed that goblin gang and we're gonna go with a witch on top of that she's gonna fireball that so we're actually gonna go in with a ram rider and Maybe a prince, yeah. We're going to go in with prince, and I think that'll be tower. Yeah, guys, that's going to be tower. I secured it with the poison. And I think that'll be game. He logged that. He's going to mirror that again. It's like a signature style. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two. All right, guys, that's it. Um, it's, uh, it's game over. Crabbers, um, good game. We'll hit you up with a good game. And you know what? He fought good. And to be honest with you, I thought he was going to win with that counter push at one point. Um, yeah, guys, so that's the end of the video here. Nine wins. But don't go just yet because, like I said before, in all of these videos that I do, I'm going to expose how much trophies everyone had at the end of the video. So, it's the end right now. So, I'm going to go my activity log and show you everyone. So, um, here, Selter. He's in Master 1 um, with this deck over here. Um, so, he looks like a pretty good player. Uh, Master 1, that means he probably finished champion last season. Which is good. And don't forget, guys. Master 1's not impressive if you're going to watch this end of season. But this is like three days into season 10. So, that's pretty impressive, guys. We're going to go to Nate here. He's in Challenger 3. And he has just a bit more trophies than I do. And, yeah, guys. So, he probably finished Master 3, Master 2. Um, so, that's still pretty solid player and with the last guy crabbers who put up a really good fight he's also in challenger three he has some pretty maxed out cards with star power so he finished about master two master three it's another pretty good player guys and you know it doesn't matter how much trophies you have you know it just matters how good you are and just watch a lot of youtubers and they'll help you improve your game. Just like I watched Tag and he really helped me improve my game. Um, so huge shout out to you. You're probably not watching, but huge shout out to you. All right, guys. So that's the end. Stay safe.